Okay, it's uh, Sunday, November the 6th. It was the 5th yesterday, by the way. <laughs> Anyways, um, we've had an abortive attempt at uh, putting windy? plastic up because it's too windy. Oh, so we're, we're... Well, we're canceling that. I mean, I think we can help with maybe we can just um, get that one garden. We could get stuff out, like the sunflowers. We could put the... Put some straw down. Straw down, like put some stuff in straw down, like that would help us out mm -hmm. to do now. I think we could still, like a fire would be good. Yeah. I think we could still. Mm -hmm. well, going that way, which yeah. is where the wind is. Um, we're, we're also doing some pre-planning in terms of trees and uh, things in front of uh, the actual house itself. So, Trisha, what? I'm just going to say, that's the angle. <laughs> yeah, then, then my Otherwise cat's in the way. That's okay. We'll look up. That's the point. Anyways, the, uh, uh, Trisha brought, bought some rhododendrons yesterday. That's what they are, right? Hydrangeas. Hydrangeas. Sorry. And yeah. uh, we're talking about where to plant those. Yeah. So I'm thinking in the front here. Um, and then I want kind of probably two um, views here or something like that. Like that will be taller. In front of the brown, brown or... One, one there and one, one on that there. corner? Yeah. I mean, there might be two more here and then the three hydrangeas around, so maybe, maybe. Yeah. I know. Okay. You need something that's going to go taller mm -hmm. here. So use our but evergreens I don't want that are uh, quite uh, tall, but they're, they're um, pyramidal in shape. They can be whatever you yeah. want, whatever shape you want. Yeah. So we can shape them as we want. Yeah. And we also talked about putting somewhere around here sunburst locust. We've had sunburst locusts in every, think, house, every house that we've we've lived in. Yeah, we didn't Chatham, do it in Chatham. No, no, I don't think so. Oh. Anyways. Anyway, so uh, uh, sunburst locust, and the idea with a sunburst locust is that they are um, very, very, very fast growing um, and they've got wee little leaves. Uh, so each one of their branches that has leaves on it um, is going to have little leaflets coming out of the side parallel to each other. And uh, you end up with a diffused uh, sunlight as a consequence. It's uh, partial shade, I think, is uh, what they would actually refer to it as. Um, but they're, they're um, I, I think that they'd probably be okay for here in the sense that uh, it'll be 20 years, give or take, uh, given that the, uh, the, the, the trees that we've grown before, uh, before it gets to the point where it may start to interfere. But they, they don't go all that high, so I think 20 feet to 30 feet is probably as high as they get. Um, so I don't think we'll have to worry about them interfering with the solar panels. So I'd like to have one here, so then it, what it does is it, um, it will shade this window here. So in the summer, the, the overhang will shade those two windows, but yeah. there's nothing to shade this yeah. window here. So it will give it a little bit of, of shade for there, eventually. And we talked about probably, I don't know, maybe another, another sunburst locust here. Uh, in the corner, uh, which the Johnny on the spot is gone, um, and probably a ring of cedars or yews or something along those lines. around the power post uh, so that it becomes hidden junipers. and then we can have junipers and cedars creating a bit of a break here uh, between our property and uh, Kathy's next door. Do we want to continue to walk a minute? So what about back here? Yeah, so we've got uh, 
the downspout completed. Uh, we don't have a piece of big O yet uh, that we should be putting on the end. Um, and I need to tap into the uh, the space, but I think we can do that with a uh, just a piece that's uh, going to um, drilled into so that we can end up with a diverter uh, in that space. I think we gotta put some foam in here. Like that's open, eh? Mm. You're gonna get mice coming in there. Should be. We should put some foam in there. Yeah. And so, what about here? Something to hide this space as well? Yeah, probably, probably put something around here. As well. Yeah. Use some cedars, yeah. junipers. Mm -hmm. well, we might, yeah. And do the same around the well head. Yeah. We might actually just have a row of junipers all the way along the property line. Right up to the corner. See there. So do you just want to do the, the fire here or yeah. you just wanna no, do just you wanna just or do you wanna start it and then add stuff to it? I yeah think. we can do that too. I think so then just have it here and then just add stuff to it. Or out there in the corner. away from the well etc. Um, so we also purchased what 25 kilograms of uh, clover? Yeah. Uh, yesterday so we'll be spreading that um, in whenever we get an opportunity to actually spread it mostly in front of the house so it's white clover so it grows to a maximum of about uh, six inches or so. Um, and you end up with the uh, the white heads on it. It never needs to be mowed um, So it'll be a ground cover um, So that we don't end up Going down the same route that uh, other residences do in terms of putting grass down that uh, is not Useful in any way shape or form. We're not buying a lawnmower. <laughs> it, well, exactly and nor do we want to actually invest in uh, monoculture in that kind of way. Yeah. Um, so the ground cover is basically a starting point and we'd like to keep it uh, relatively uh, short in the front anyways um, and then uh, uh, we can have all kinds of um, flowers summer flowers like and that kind of stuff, wildflowers stuff. in there, yeah, Back we can spread those. Yeah. Um, we're also we're thinking excited. about putting some kind of a uh, uh, patio stone uh, section, uh, probably over top of the septic bed or something along those lines, um, right here where the external faucets, um, so there's two external faucets, the one over by the uh, air conditioning is uh, coming directly off of the well. This one is conditioned water, so we'll be using a variety of hoses here for different purposes. So there's water, and uh, this this one is going to end up being the location for the um, outdoor the outdoor kitchen that we've got in behind the trailer right now. And there's going to be stairs. There'll be a Coming stairway down yeah. from the deck going down to here. the corner of the garage. And then under the stairs we'll probably have the uh, kitchen. Yeah. But yeah, we'll probably have a deck space patio or you know, patio here. Yeah. On it's the nice ground. To be out of the wind. Well, the wind that we have now today, but the uh, well, I, I think the house creates quite a nice break for that kind of thing. And we'll, we won't have as much sun here because this again the yeah. the house will Blocks As you can it. see, shades the sun here, so it'll be nice in the summertime. Almost all year round. Yeah, because this, this is the north west facing, right? Would be, you wouldn't get it. There's meters. no direct sunlight. No. This is the north side. Oh, that's where he put it. So there are our uh, tanks that we're going to install probably next spring to collect water. 
and we'll need to have some kind of diversion system and we'll have to have a platform so that we can uh, use the water on plants all the way around. Um, let's take a look briefly at blueberries and uh, strawberries, see how they're doing since we planted them a couple of weeks ago. So the strawberry is alive, Trish. Yeah. Green leaves. Blueberry plants have gone dormant. Don't see any sign of life on them. But they also haven't uh, died. Well, maybe we're going to have to replace one or two. Probably not. And so this will probably be initially in clover as well to begin with. Okay, I'm going to stop this at this point and uh, maybe begin again. Uh, All right, this is later in the afternoon on Sunday, the 6th of November, and uh, we've spent a little bit of time out here with Jonathan, our, our son, and uh, his girls, and uh, we've got a little bit done. So as you can see, this garden has been prepped for uh, his long winter sleep. Um, we just need to move the chickens out and put uh, straw on the rest of the materials and uh, I guess all of our uh, um, cardboard is gone uh, but we were putting cardboard down in between uh, walkways so the paths would uh, remain clear. Um, this garden has been uh, completely put to bed um, so you can see that the uh, the rows are clearly defined by humps of straw underneath. In between, we've got cardboard, and then we've pulled the, pulled the, uh, the tarp over top of it. Uh, off to the side, we've got our kale still remaining, and it'll stay there for a while yet, because uh, we need to, to um, bring it together. Uh, chickens are going to be going into the hoop house but we weren't able to put the uh, the plastic up today because it's just too windy and um, so I think what we're going to do is um, start a, a bit of a fire um, and uh, burn off some of the uh, wood that's accumulated from the building of the house and uh, enjoy each other's company at the same time. Anyway, so I'm going to uh, finish this off and uh, get it posted as soon as I can. Talk to you soon.